Hello and welcome to Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In the latest Photoshop Creative Cloud update, there are some improvements to the color range selection feature, specifically to highlights, midtones, and shadow selections. Now, instead of a hard coded range of values, the exact range of tones and the partial selection of surrounding tones can be controlled in a manner similar to color ranges sampled pixel method. So let me show you what's the main difference. Before this feature, this is how uh, the color range highlights, midtones, and shadows feature was working. So if I go to select color range and I choose select method called highlights, midtones, or shadows, then it will be a strict feature which will be just a, a default um, highlight selection. But I can't do anything here. I can't change this selection. The same applies to midtones as well. Again, I don't have any control over how it works. I can go to shadows and that will be again exactly the same. So we have all these features here missing for these options. But if you think about it, these options would be really useful to, to make selections based on these tonal values. Because we do a lot of things with them, and we, we use them in uh, adjustments like curves uh, or levels, but we don't really use them for making selections. But now, with the Photoshop uh, CC 14.1 update, we have these uh, new options for this feature. So let me show you how it works now in this new uh, update. So I go to color range, and as you can see, once I select highlights, for example, it again selects the highlights automatically, but I have control over how it works. So I can easily change the range. And then I can really be specific which parts of the highlights I need. And I can even control the fuzziness, which will make, uh, again, a nice difference on how the selection will appear. And I can do the same with shadows. So if I want the opposite and select the foreground with the tree and not the background, I can do that as well. And again, I can really customize this selection by changing the range and the fuzziness. And I can even use the midtones in this case, for example, to select the forest in the background. And in, in that case, when I have the midtones, I will have a tolerance level, um, two arrows here. And in between these two arrows, I will have that range of midtones that will be selected by the color range. So you can see by using these three features now in with this new update in Photoshop, you have a really great feature to make selections based on these tonal values on your images.